Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome back, it's me, your boy. It's Nostalgia Mode again. The beginning of episode 130 of this series has us back down to the Deep Slate Mines. One of my favorite places to be in 1.17, if I'm being honest. So I've been down here for a little while, and uh, when I say a little while, I mean quite literally like a tiny bit of time. I've been down here for like the past 40 or so, hey! Uh, deep slate redstone you mine and you craft in this game and i've been doing a lot of the mining it's some pretty impressive numbers right here so uh get ready for it right now currently i have a grand total of 64 cobbled grimstone and 26 more these numbers are crazy hey even more redstone grimstone that's pretty cool so uh yeah i've been down here getting a bunch of this block this amazing really good block for today's build because of course uh, you know we're, we're gonna need like a lot of this oh wait what's that Oh, that's weird. That's really weird. I didn't even say what we're doing. Ever since the restart, things have been going really, really well over here at Tent Empire. I like what we're doing. We have a tent, we have a barn, and now, after our uh, last episode, ever since then, we have a fully finished mining zone, which means uh, getting more deep slate, it's insanely easy now, and it looks good while we're doing it too. We've got an auto smelter, we've got a crane. Crane keeps getting a little bit older though, which is ugly. We're gonna have to get honeycombs really soon. And we've got a storage building over here, which is starting to age too. Things have been going really good, but we're missing something huge. This tent is really nice, like, like I like it. Uh, but it just, it's not the same. We've been living over here at this base for eight episodes now. It's time to expand. Today, the goal is pretty simple. Uh, no pressure. <laughs> None at all. We need to build the best starter house that I've ever built. <laughs> yeah, no pressure. Oh yeah, and instead of it being a starter house, it's actually going to be a starter castle. So yeah, remember to leave a like. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Starter Castle, Starter Castle. I will come up with a better name for it soon, but Starter Castle. There's only one spot that the castle can go, and, and, and it's always been right here. Look at this hill. This is the perfect view. So we could build it up there, which would be really nice, but it would be kind of like a pain to get up and down. Instead, I think the Starter House sits right here. We can see the mine area. Look at it. It's like fully finished. We can see all of this stuff, kind of. And then the hill. Whenever I do something to the hill, which I have a really cool idea, we'll be able to see it from the Starter House too. There are two problems with this spot over here, though the land uh the land isn't really good for building uh to get it good for building i think all that we're gonna have to do is raise this little bit right here lower that area right there and then clear it out right now we have a bunch of trees in here coincidentally spruce trees which are going to be exactly perfect for what i wanted to do today we're gonna use a ton like a lot of this really new block you might have heard of it this stuff right there it looks so good and we're also probably gonna use other things because we have to so like stuff like spruce what i'm thinking and copper which hey speaking of copper we should definitely throw the stuff in the auto smelter over here because we're gonna need to be able to use it for blocks the iron look at that the iron situation is actually getting solved not bad i have to take out all of the trees basically in this area every single tree on the seal definitely has to go and then i'm going to take out some of the trees by the ledge too i'm going to come in here and put custom trees at some point i promise i wouldn't lie about that no two goals chop the trees flatten the land wow <laughs> yeah that was a lot of land like way more land than i thought but it's flat so the next problem is the, the cobblestone i have to get rid of the cobblestone now thankfully i have a lot of dirt now so this should be pretty easy everything is deep slate it's an amazing block so we're gonna use a lot of deep slate on this build i think deep slate is the perfect block for it uh what i think i want to also do is have a couple of those circly bits on the castle i think towers are really really good on a castle uh i think the tower shape could probably be like a like a simple like three then one then three then one i want to make this castle good but i also don't want to make it like oh great it's you right in front of my eyes so actually this could be potentially uh, good i don't like to say it uh oh wow wow oh that's kind of amazing actually but i don't have any emeralds whoa that's weird it completely disappeared right in front of my eyes too starter castle has to be good i want starter castle to also be bigger than both of my other starter houses but at the same time starter castle can't be too big it's called starter castle for a reason you know 
I'm thinking if we do like towers this size, maybe like three of them, I, I think that would be probably pretty good. So the front of the house is definitely going to be looking this way. We have a tower right there. That's the start. I think I want to put a front door in this area. And to make it easy on myself, I'm thinking a section of five. A section of five gives me room for like a good arch and like one door in the center. Yeah, we could definitely work with that. Now, the next tower. I, I think two towers on the front of the build, which could be cool. Uh, but I don't think these towers should be like perfectly like lined up with each other. So what I'm thinking is we set the tower back back one block this time see if we move this tower back it creates a little bit of depth right off the bat maybe we could fix that like weird flat spot right there with like a bush or something that'll definitely hide it and yeah i think by positioning these towers slightly off of each other it'll help make this build look a little bit more interesting so I have a lot of ideas what I want to do with this build. Uh, over here, I think what I want to do is a wall with windows. So I'm imagining like the wall goes up right there. Then we do like a window right there. Then we have a wall. Then we have a window. And then maybe for good measure, we have another wall and another window. And then an end bit right there. I like to do things in threes. So that'll give us room for three windows. Oh, uh, wait, three windows, right? Um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three windows. I, I think that'll look nice. Hey, <laughs> now the back of the build, of course, I uh, the, the back of the build. We're, we're going to do a corner. And we're going to go on the, the back of the build. Something like that. Yeah. Look at it. It's so thoughtful. I don't know. Let's just go with that amount. And then finally, the third tower. I want to have three towers on this build. Um... But is this perfect? No, it's not perfectly in line, but I don't want to really do the same thing. So what if maybe on this tower, uh, one, two, three, four, five, oh, five. What if on this tower, maybe instead of just doing like a normal tower, we do like an oval shaped tower, which is going to be pretty cool, hopefully. And then that gets us to this spot right here. One, two, three, four. Yikes. I mean, we could work with it. It's a section of four. I don't really like that. But I think we're going to have to work with it. Maybe we could put like a side door over here. Actually, yeah, no, imagine this. Side door over here walks out to a courtyard. I like fence it in, push the forest back a little bit more. And look at this, actually. For once, I actually cleared out the right amount of forest. Like, what? The, this is crazy. And this saves room for like a path up here, walking into the grand front entrance. Oh, I can envision it now. Except I can't because I'm out of deep slate. I didn't get enough. Hey, at least the copper finished smelting up. Three stacks of the stuff. Hopefully that's enough. Okay. So, that's what I think I want to do with the build. Now, it's time to get back to the mines and mine out a bunch of deep slate. I think I'm probably going to need, like, nine stacks of this stuff, or more, at least. So, I'm going to start with this chunk right here, mine out all of the deep slate, keep the ores right there. Then I'm going to move over to the branch mine over there, and start mining out those chunks of deep slate, too. Who knows? Maybe. If I get lucky at some point, I'll find some deep slate diamonds. But if I do, I can't take them. Hopefully nine stacks will be enough though. If we have to get more, I have to get more, no big deal. But I think nine stacks is a good starting point. If I clear out one row, it's pretty easy to keep track. I'm gonna ignore the polished deep slate right there. So yeah, like nine stacks of it. Hopefully that's enough to start and finish. Maybe not. There are no deep slate diamonds in this entire mine anywhere over here. I was kind of surprised by that. I found some more redstone, some iron, some coal, but no deep slate diamonds. But I am now the proud owner of over nine stacks of grimstone. All right, so right off the bat, I don't entirely know exactly what I'm gonna do with this castle, but I have some pretty good ideas. I think I'm gonna use a lot of deep slate bricks and deep slate crack bricks. It would look really nice in here too. Wrong side, that's my bad. Put them over there. There we go. That should smelt up lots of fuel in there. We'll throw those in the auto smelter and get them later. Because this build is a little bit more complex, I think the easiest way to do it is probably going to be like piece by piece. So we have a couple different shapes here, like this tower. We'll start with the tower, then maybe we like move over here and then like move over here and just move around the build. Kind of do like section by section section frank inside it all together hopefully it ends up working but we have to start so the polished deep slate was kind of just a placeholder block so we could figure everything out count everything i think what we're gonna do is this tower out of deep slate bricks we're not really gonna worry about anything on the inside of the build today too we're just gonna leave the blocks that are there we'll work on the inside probably in the next episode so this tower i think what i want to do is maybe have the floor of this tower uh raised one block off of the ground so we'll start with like a too high base then it's window time i'm thinking that this tower because it is closer to like everything that we built would be perfect for like viewing like looking around so on the top of the tower i want to have like a flat space where i could stand uh so right now we have one story uh we have a three tall window then a section on three so we could do like a floor in there you know like space above the window below the window uh we do the same thing i think i want this to be really tall uh so that's gonna be floor number two 
Mm -hmm, tall <laughs> but I think it could get taller right so let's go ahead and do the same thing again so I think that's a section of three this will be the last floor because it's getting really tall at this point but we have one two three and then the top area so we'll put the top of the build like somewhere in here maybe like attach it to the side of this thing with something different <laughs> that's gonna be really tall um don't know how I'm gonna get down though for now, I'll do the exact same thing on this wall, and then I'll just fill these walls in all the way. I think this tower is definitely going to be, like, taller than most of the other build. I think this will be the tallest piece. So we'll probably end up filling, like, this section in, too. But for now, to start, I'll just fill in the stuff that I know I'm going to have for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> tall. Uh, tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tall is the word. For sure. Definitely tall. The next piece of this part of the build is going to be the top part. I think the height is good. This is a really tall tower. We're going to have a great view from this top area. Now, uh, the top area, good view. So I think it has to be like flat and open, which means, I think, I'm pretty sure that means there's only one thing that we could do here. And that's going to be like a stereotypical top part of the castle. Now, I want to use a lot of deep slate on the build. But I think we we can't just like only use deep slate. I'm thinking spruce wood will probably be like the accent part. And then most likely we'll end up using spruce wood on different parts of the roof on this build too. I think if we were to go flat up into a castle top on this part of the build, it wouldn't look very good. So instead, what we're going to do is uh, build it out of tiles to make it look a little bit different and have it pop out of the build a little bit. So I think what we could do uh, is kind of start with some staircases wrapping around the side. Maybe have that wrap around there. Uh, Fill that in two, maybe. Uh, take that back. And then we could do like slabs on top of here, and then the floor could be like up here, so I could walk around and look around. Like <laughs> getting up and down on this build today is gonna be really painful. I really need to go exploring and like find more bamboo somewhere. Like honestly, the shiprocks are probably gonna be the way to go. I think we can find moss blocks there, and then obviously bamboo too. But yeah, like getting up and down on today's build, <laughs> uh, it's not gonna be exactly really easy. We're gonna have to use like a lot of dirt. So we'll have to do that soon, uh, but the top of the build. So maybe something like that uh, from up here. I mean, it looks pretty good. We're also probably going to want to add like a little bit more shape to it, like blend it down into the build to make it look better. So I was thinking maybe like walls down here in the corner to kind of make it like uh, look like it like curves out of the build, you know? Yeah, yeah, maybe something like that. We definitely need something different in like that middle area, though. Maybe something should hang down a little bit further. We could use like chisel deep slate in there. I could come up with something, uh, but have that hang down with the spruce load, like peeking through. I think that looks really nice. I found something out. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to have enough deep slate at all. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to go down and take a break soon and get like way more deep slate. Moving on to the next part of the build, though, the entrance, the main door. So arch for sure. It's a castle. It's a grand entrance. There's only one type of grand entrance on a castle, and that's definitely going to be an so I think maybe three blocks up we do a staircase we do another staircase like that we do a slab right there slab right there slab up there and then same thing on the other side three blocks up then we do a staircase going towards the middle upside down staircase right here slab and then boom arch arched over on the center I think that looks sweet now this is where the spruce comes in spruce is the accent block on the build we could probably fill this back area in with like spruce wood just going straight up put a spruce door on this build it's not even close spruce door is by far castleiest looking door in the game easily maybe we put like a small window in there that could look kind of nice something like that that's the main entrance of the build we're gonna need copper but before we put a copper roof on that part uh let's just move on to the next part of the build because i'm gonna have to go down to the mines and get more deep slate in a second so i figure we might as well just finish this tower too this tower is gonna be pretty similar to the last tower but i don't know if i really want to have the floor raised in this tower uh so i'm gonna save room for it for now and then if i decide to not have it raised in this tower uh not a problem i could just lower the window so we're gonna start exactly the same three tall window right there two blocks up off of the ground it's gonna wrap all the way around the build so we'll have a window right there we won't have a window right there uh and i'll fill in this wall a little bit maybe one back just to be safe honestly when we end up doing the interior i'm okay if this ends up being like one gigantic room i think it could be pretty cool uh but i know for sure that i definitely want to have like a tall ceiling on the build i think a tall ceiling like on the inside could look pretty sweet and make the castle feel like really really like big and like grand definitely the feeling i'm going for all right so i finished the floor one uh then we do the floor two we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna have a three high window uh then we're gonna have the top part and we're gonna have the top part then this tower i think it ends here and we put the roof on it oh man this is gonna be the fun roof so we're gonna use spruce wood on this roof and we're gonna try and make it like a really really steep looking cone like i'm thinking something kind of like what we did on the wizard tower back of the jungle but like even steeper even better than that one i really don't know how tall these walls are gonna go though i think i'm gonna have to wait until i do like the inside so for now i'm just kind of like outlining that and uh, kind of like placeholders maybe i end up like filling it in more maybe i end up taking it no no, no, no. i probably won't end up taking it out 
I think I'm gonna end up putting rooms inside of this tower, but for now, I'm just gonna put torches in here so I don't get like creeper spawning. That could be really bad. Aha, okay, so I have all the spruce wood that I could ever need. Uh, the shave. So I think we start by going two blocks up. Two blocks up feels like it would be pretty good for like the base of a tower. So two blocks up all the way around and then in the middle, we go up one. I think what we need to do is start like shallow and get like steeper as we go up. And then uh, this one is probably gonna end up being taller than that one actually. Whoops. Okay, so so far so good. I think what we do is like curve that up and around. Uh, every side is symmetrical, so we go up like that, and then maybe we go like two this time. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's that's gonna make it get more steep. I could come back in here and add like slabs or something if I need to, and like staircases. Hopefully, we'll be able to do it with like solid blocks. So I think that would make it look a little bit better. Uh, but do the same shape all the way around, so it goes out and up and over. All right. Uh, so far so good. <laughs> maybe. Uh, next up. I think we have to fill that corner in. That would make sense. Uh, but not that corner right there. Then these corners should probably go up again like the last layer. I think they go like over and, and up and around. And then I think all we do is instead of two, we go three this time because it's getting like even more steep. And then we should be right at the top. Like this will be in. Uh, and we do it again. And then maybe one more time. Oh, I think that's it. I think it's it. We should probably put a lightning rod on this part of the roof too because uh, this could be really, really bad if this burns down. If we get this right the first time, I'm gonna be amazed and I, I'm, I'm gonna want this thing to never burn down. So we're up here now. I think all we do is fill these corners in and, and just keep repeating the same thing. Like it goes all the way up now and around. Oh, we're getting tall now, tall for sure. We're, we're past that tower by a lot, okay? So we're up here. I, I think I did two, three, four then do i do five again uh one two uh wait 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 four five I, I think i do five for the first time and then maybe i just do five on the top which is gonna be right there too mm-hmm interesting i don't have any time for you today so please just leave i hope this is it i really hope this is it that's five right there and then what i could do is a slab right on the top or, or a lightning rod i guess it doesn't really matter we'll just take it off for now uh please be it Please be it. Yeah, I didn't think about how I'm going to get off of this tower. Uh, that's going to have to work. Yeah, it works. <laughs> All right. Uh, you're making me nervous. Uh, it looks good from over here, though. I honestly don't think I'm very good at these steep parts of the build. But it's steep. Oh, it's steep. It's steep for sure. It's, in fact, it's so steep that it's taller than the short part of the build. <laughs> is that too steep? Or is that okay? Um, <laughs> I kind of like it. I think it's kind of cool. You know what? I think we're going to leave it. It's evolution. I'm figuring out how to actually do those roofs. Like, first shot? Like, that's not bad. And I kind of like it with, like, the solid blocks, too. I think the stairs... I mean, having stairs on there could make it look really cool, definitely. But I think at the same time, it might kind of, like, start to overly complicate it. Anyways, though, I ran out of deep slate basically all the way. So back down to the mines. I think I'm going to get nine more stacks of deep slate. Hopefully that should be good. I think we finished most of the, like, the big parts of the build. Actually, no, yeah, we definitely finished the big parts of the build. The other tower thing, it's not going to be as tall. So nine more stacks, that should be way more than enough. Back to mining. 18 stacks. 18 stacks of deep slate and still not a single deep slate diamond or normal diamond anywhere at all. Not one. I mined nine stacks of deep slate. I also did a little bit of work to the build. Check this out. The towers have cracked stone bricks on them now. And then this tower up at the top, I made some big changes. So I have walls in the corners now. I have a wall hanging off of that bit. And then I made that part a little bit longer. It almost looks like a wither, which I think is kind of cool. And then right in the middle, it's kind of hard to see. I still don't have Optifine, uh, but right in the middle, chiseled deep slate. I organized stuff too. Look at how good it looks. Next part of the build this is the first part of the build that's actually going to use polished deep slate. Over here, we're going to work on this wall next. So uh, right now we have the start of the wall. We have one, two. I think what I want to do is have windows that are four blocks tall. So that's two, that's three, that's four right there. Then we're going to have the top right there. And we're going to put stairs on them like that. Uh, on the full warm, all oh, the full warm. We barely got to new you. I miss this so much. On the full warm, I wanted to do this wall with like these tall, thin windows. That's kind of what I want to replicate here. So we have this wall that's like tall and thin. Uh, we put glass panes in the middle, like maybe maybe colored, maybe not, I don't know, but glass panes. Then I want to get fancy, like really, really decorative and fancy here. We're going to put a roof on this thing, and I think I want to have like a separate roof line for each window. So this is going to be the most compact roof line I've ever done. Uh, please don't judge me, okay? No, 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 we're cool, we're cool, we're friends. We, you would never judge me for a roof that looks bad, never. I wouldn't even imagine it. Okay, cool. Glad we got that out of the way. Um, oh no, I do have them. Dang it. All right, back to the top. I don't know too much about this roof line, 
Um, but we're just gonna kind of wing it here and try and make it look really good. So we're gonna have this kind of like curve out a little bit. Then I definitely think like chiseled deep slate in here would look really, really good, like sitting above those blocks. So we're gonna find chiseled deep slate. And while I do that, <laughs> I gotta stand still and eat some sweet berries. I love this stuff. Sweet berries, man. Oh, <gasps> a wolf. A wolf. There, there's actually a wolf over there. We might be able to get this. Nine bones? Oh, we could get this easy. We could get this so easy. Hey, my guy, my guy, listen, listen. These are for you. You're going to want these. Ah, uh, perfect. Amazing. Your name? It shall be Modus. All right, so temporarily, we're just going to throw these windows in here to kind of get the vision. This is what I'm thinking. Of course, I'm too short. We're going to put the windows in like that to kind of get the vision. That's kind of what I'm thinking. And then I was talking about Chiseled Deep Slate. Chiseled Deep Slate is going to go up here on the top. I think like right above here. So like the, the Polished Deep Slate kind of like wraps around into the Chiseled Deep Slate. I think that'll look cool. Then we want to try and get this roof to be really, really interesting looking. So what we're going to do is start with uh, more solid planks like that. So we uh, have everything filled in. Then we're going to do a staircase maybe. Uh, another staircase maybe <laughs> um what if we did this like we have this like cool like kind of like carved in area right there and then we have to try and like wrap them around we had three okay can i even do this this might be impossible i might have set an impossible goal no 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 it's looking cool that's looking really good maybe it's not impossible i take it back i mean i have no clue how we're gonna like wrap it around on the side of the build and like finish the roof off but no this is looking really good so staircase like that then a staircase like that then we have that right there now uh the the center so uh definitely something above here maybe we could do like an upside down staircase like that kind of thinking upside down staircases might like finish this off pretty well so we do maybe like an upside down staircase and then could we try and like curve this out so maybe we do like another staircase then we could do like this like that maybe it needs to be like steeper but kind of like that to make it finished we do a fence on on the peak there and then all that i have to do is copy the peaks over and over and over again and then curve them back down so to curve them down uh probably actually a staircase right here and then they'll go in like a couple blocks and and i think hopefully that'll work so like slabs right there curves in maybe one more should be good oh yeah oh yeah 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 that's good that's exactly it that's what i was going for whoa look at how old the crane is now oh wow so there is one problem though we need like three separate roof lines so i put slabs in here before i think what i'm gonna have to do instead is some staircases now the middle roof is gonna be a little weird because it's in the middle uh so what i think i'm gonna do is have staircases going to each corner roof and then the middle one it'll just be like a little bit more strange but i think it'll be okay i like i i think it'll end up working out in the end couple more modifications to the roof and this is what we have with this curve like going up with a fence right there and then maybe i could put like iron bars on top of that eventually to make it get like really steep but i think that's good we need to move on ah this backside. you know i don't want to think about that right now so we're going to move on to this side right over here uh this should be good this side starts out pretty simply what we do is we go three blocks up off of the ground we do an upside down staircase right there we're gonna do the same thing on the other side we go up with the bricks uh we do a staircase right there then we need to turn this into an arch so i think it's slab time we could go slab slab and then double slab double slab uh that's a pretty solid arch that's good then we're gonna basically do what we did over here but on the side so uh right inside of here we'll do spruce wood going straight up we'll do more spruce doors in the middle because they're castle doors one one mm -hmm. looks good and then over here slab slab looks good and then maybe up here staircase staircase that makes it look a little bit more interesting uh then what i'm thinking is add a courtyard over here a courtyard on this side of this building i think that could look pretty good it should be pretty easy to do too just chop down uh this cluster of trees right there raise the land up put a wall that's good ah uh, so this back part of the build so right now we have the polished deep slate right there instead of polished deep slate i'm definitely thinking more deep slate bricks and actually let's change this so let's make this symmetrical right here so i'm going to shorten this and then probably lengthen it that way yeah so what i think i want to do is have two windows in here so this would be a window right there middle part uh, and then another window right there so easy all that i need to do is stretch the build this way a little bit not a problem now at first when i was planning this part of the build i was thinking that this would be the third tower it would be really really tall in here and it could be cool but instead of that i think we're gonna keep this side a little bit shorter i was thinking about function here and you know what i think this part might be really good for a storage building like the shape of this room is really good potentially for like some chests like we could line some right here like stack them up on the wall right there too over here so maybe smaller part of the build that ends up being a storage room no matter what ends up happening with the inside of the build here's what i'm thinking for the outside so uh we need a roof on this part of the build i'm thinking the roof hangs off of this thing and we do like a like a shorter roof so maybe we start with a slab and then we go staircase and we do another staircase right there uh then we do slab then we do maybe another slab 
and then this would be another slab. We keep it symmetrical. I think this shape might look really good and it'll fit the whole like castle vibe of this thing. So we'll do that. Turning around the corner, we'll do that. And then, hmm, <laughs> uh, this part is gonna be a little bit more tricky. I think we could basically do the same shape though. I think we could work with it and make it work. It's just gonna be a little bit longer. You know, I think that works. I think that's good. Yep, yep, that's the shape. Carrying this thing forward uh, is gonna be pretty easy. I think all that we need to do here is basically just like connect the roof line. So staircases go down this way, they turn and they go right there. Uh, this thing just follows in and kind of like all connects. That's really straightforward. You know what? Or we could just take this out actually. We could have that go straight back into the building, straight back in the building, perfect. All right, now this side, I'm just gonna do it like this, but it's gonna be on the inside of the build. So we're probably not gonna have the roof there. Uh, I'll finish all the other sides and then leave that side alone. This spot though. This spot might be a little bit of a problem. Maybe we just commit to this thing and do like a chimney right there, like a small chimney coming out of the build. I mean, I think it'll be fine. There we go. It works. Oh man, now finally, this is last part of the build. How do I do it? How do I do it? So uh, right off the bat, uh, we create like a big arch in here. So what if we were to go up like a long ways? I'm not too sure how high, but we, we go up like a long ways, like maybe something like this and just create like an arch then we make it go back and, and we keep it square that time so we can put glass panes in there so we have like a really tall window looking out over the forest and then we take out some of these trees so we actually have like a view like i feel like that could be a really cool way to wrap up the back side of the build trying to keep it like matching the whole build and also like keeping it cool and functional i mean i feel like that could be pretty cool so let's say we did that there we go one two three then that would put us uh right here uh then we can take that straight back maybe like honestly that might kind of work if we did it like that, or I could even pull it back one block. Hmm. Maybe I do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, definitely. It needs to pull back one block because then otherwise it would be like perfectly in line with the roof. That would look weird. And also, how about we build this part out of cobble deep slate? We didn't really use any on like the whole build other than that arch. And yeah, no, just that arch. Okay, so looking at the rest of the build, I feel like this site right here, whatever it is, is gonna be pretty good. This lines up pretty well with that side. So we'll do that. We'll have the part on the outside go up a little bit less so we can create an arch. We'll fill it in like that so we have that arch bit. We could maybe even carry the arch upwards like over here with like more deep slate stairs and slabs, maybe. I feel like that could be cool. Could even run it back one more block. So look at this, it hits the rest of the build. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Maybe get a little bit fancier in here. Put that right there. We do that and right here, we do that oh yeah oh yeah the grand arch on the back of the build oh that looks good then all that i need to do is fill this corner in and this corner which is easy that could literally be anything it could just be more bricks in fact maybe we just do more bricks and this one honestly this one it could just run straight back into the build like that problem solved right there big window uh we'll fill that somehow and then over here more bricks i thought about it a little bit you know what could be cool on this back part of the build and it'll help close up this area right here what about a steeple? Like we put like a really tall steeple on the build. Maybe it goes up to like, I don't know, like here. Uh, and then we could switch over to walls and, and go up with some walls, maybe like three or, or something. And then we could finish it off with iron bars. So like we have a steeple on the backside and, and then to make this thing look even more steeple like, maybe like somewhere like here or something. Uh, we start with walls and have walls run all the way down and then we do something at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, I feel like that's cool. Maybe the walls run down to like there or something. And then we do something like this, like upside down staircase, normal staircase, and then have this just go like straight down into the ground. It makes it like super gothic looking, which I think will be cool. Maybe we'll have to make it a little bit taller, not a problem at all. But yeah, yeah, I feel like that's the perfect way to finish the whole build up. So far, so good, making really good progress. I mean, it's still hollow, but we're doing good. There's one final thing that I'd like to do to the build today. We need copper. Of course, it wouldn't be a 1.17 starter castle without at least a little bit of copper. So what I want to do here is do a copper roof on the front of the build. I'm thinking we're going to use cut copper blocks. So hopefully I'm going to have enough. I think what we do is we start here and here and maybe go out. I don't know, like one, uh, maybe, maybe two. We, we go out two. So it's not like uh, flat right there on both sides. And we make one of those cool medieval roofs. So what I mean is like we go up uh, two on the next layer and then two over here. And then actually we're gonna have the middle so we could go one right there oh yeah we should have enough copper oh easy so the shape of the roof will be that right there but we have to make it look better because like that like alone like that's really bad looking staircases staircases are gonna help how about this on top of this part right here we do staircases going straight back that makes it look a little bit more interesting but then it's too thick so maybe we shave those off keep that solid block in the back do a staircase right there same thing on the other side take those two off put a staircase but obviously now it's like way too thin on the front for sure so maybe we do slab slab 
Now the roof is too, uh, like, not steep though. Easy fix. Take that off, take that off right there, put a staircase, get another staircase. So now we have that shape. All we need to do is make it taller with maybe like, actually just staircases. Actually in solid blocks here. Getting nervous. We're starting to get really low on copper here. Uh-oh. All right. Those go like that. That should fix the shape of the roof really, really well. Copper staircase. I don't have enough. I don't have enough copper. I actually don't have enough copper. I have to go back to the mines again today. Again, I don't have enough copper. I'm like just short. Uh, the copper goes out like that. And then right on top of there, we can do like a copper block. But I'm just short. I need like two slabs and a couple more staircases. I'm so close. I was so close to finishing the whole build. To finishing it all. Uh, we're going to have copper right there, though, and then on the inside, while I have it, I'm going to put white wool, and white wool is going to look great. So white wool is going to go in here, and it's going to go as high up as we need it to, so probably like that. Oh, yeah, and then how could I forget? Uh, we need to make it look even more like a castle, too. Now, doing that is going to be pretty simple, actually. So we're going to have this copper roof go straight back into the build. I'm going to build up in here with deep slate tiles, maybe to like here or something like that. And then I'm going to do a castle wall right here with slabs and deep slate tiles. We're going to connect it right there. I'll connect it over there. Maybe have to run it like straight back and around that way and around that way. So we'll have deep slate tiles for the castle wall in here to finish everything off. And then next episode, when we work on the interior, we'll put a roof in here and we'll actually have room for maybe even more of the build in here. Look at it though. Once I get all of the copper in, oh, it's going to look so good. It's going to definitely look like a castle. It's going to be sweet. And then this tower can actually continue down too, which is awesome. But unfortunately for me, it is now back to the mines one final time except this time i'm looking for copper stuff like this right here i might have to go into the cave system a little bit i i literally only need like one block though that might be enough to be honest one final trip to the mines later and here we are the perfect amount yet again the copper roof is finished and the starter castle for today at least is also finished waddles, waddles important. important why five or six is another best level to find diamonds aha that is really really interesting i actually did not hear anything about it until seeing that comment i did a little bit of research uh looked at some of the other comments and everything and yeah um now i'm gonna have to test that one out that's really really interesting supposedly deep slate generation changed diamond generation which is really really interesting uh definitely gonna have to run some tests and check that one out but why five or six so here it is the castle right now is pretty plain looking for sure but we've got the whole outline the whole shell finished we have the tall tower where we can look the tall uh really really steep tower the copper roof we're gonna finish the inside of this thing up in the next episode but this is what we're looking at right now the deep slate tile castle top ended up working out perfectly but why five or six for diamonds really Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the longer episode. Leave a like, subscribe, check out my links here in the description. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.